Welcome to Bot Sailor. In this video, we will show you how to use the user input flow and custom field to collect users' data on Telegram. The user input flow is used to ask people questions, and the answers to the questions are saved in a system or a custom defined field, so that the information may be used again in the future. Not only that, even we can use the data on the user input flow in real time. For example, if we ask for the user's full name in a question and receive an answer, we may refer to them by their full name in another question. Let's have a look at how to implement the user input flow in a bot. Go to the bot manager from the bot sailor dashboard to get started. Select the bot account for which you'd like to create a bot. Then select bot reply and hit the create button. Give a name for your bot. Then, we need to add a trigger or action button to the bot. You can utilize both the trigger and actions button at the same time. Simply drag the trigger and action button from the dock menu and connect them with the start bot flow. To add keywords, double click the trigger. We can use a comma to separate numerous keywords. Double click the action button to customize it. Choose an action button type from the drop down menu. I've chosen the get started template. So, whenever a user clicks on the start button or write any of the keywords on message, this bot will be triggered. Let's add a simple reply first. We can add a text, image, audio, video, file or e-commerce as a reply. Drag the element from the dock menu and connect it with the bot. Double click to add data. Now, we will use the user input flow to collect users information like, full name, phone number, favorite color, and email address. Drag the user input flow from the dock menu and connect it with the previous reply. We can create a new user input flow or else we can use any previous input flow from the list. Let's create a new one. Give a campaign name. As soon as we save the user input flow, a question element will be added with it. Double click on it. Select the type of question. We have free keyboard input and multiple choice. We are selecting free keyboard input for this question, because we will ask the full name of the customer. Select the reply type as text. We can save the answer data in custom or system field. System fields are email, phone, birthday, and location. We will create a custom field to store the full name of the user. Click on Add New, give a custom field name and select type. Then select it. We can assign a label here. Also, we can add a sequence message from the list. Here we have an option to add a skip button text. This text will work as a button to skip this question. But we are not using it now. Finally click the OK button. Let's add a next question. Just drag the connector from the next socket and leave the cursor. We will ask the user to enter their phone number. Here we need to select the type as phone. Select phone in save to system field. Click OK button. Let's add one more questions. In this question we will use multiple choice to get their favorite color name. We will add options here. We can add more options by clicking the Add More button. Select the reply type. Create another custom field for this question's answer. In the final question we will ask their email address. We will ask for their email address after mentioning their complete name and favorite color in this query. Let's have a look at how to accomplish this. While writing the question, we can add the custom field variable from the list. Select the reply type as email. Select the system field to email. To end the user input flow questions we need to add a final reply. Drag a connector from the final reply socket and leave the cursor to get the final reply. We will get a post back. Give a name for the post back and then add a reply with the post back.
Finally, save the bot. Let's check the user input flow in the Telegram bot account. Yes, it's just working perfectly. Now, if we go back to BotSailor's dashboard and go to the subscribers, we will be able to see all the data that is collected by the user input flow. The label we selected on the user input flow is assigned to this user. The sequence message campaign is also assigned. That means this user will be getting sequence messages as per this sequence campaign. If we go to Input Flows tab, we can see all the answer data is saved here. We can also see the custom field data in a separate tab. This is how we can use the user input flow and custom field on a Telegram bot, by using the bot sailor. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.